Right, this is Drawing and Talking uh, with Nathaniel Sullivan, and I'm going to be doing a review today, a review of Black Science, uh, Rick Remender, Matteo Scalera, Dean White. Um, this would be a review of the graphic novel, or volume one, as you can see there, uh, How to Fall for, uh, Forever, uh, from Image Comics. And um, yeah, it's, it's, it's quite good. Um, definitely, I, I definitely would recommend um, picking it up. Um, it's, it's well worth your time. Um, yeah, so just to begin with basic uh, plot synopsis. Uh, the black science in question um, is a device uh, that allows uh, transportation um, from one dimension to another. A you know, scientist, uh, in this case, uh, d develops a device which allows um, transportation travel uh, between dimensions. Um, the device is used uh, and everything uh, quickly goes very wrong, right? Uh, and hence drama, hence um, excitement ensues. Um, it's pretty good um, for several reasons. Uh, one of the things uh, I think that's really uh, quite good about it, uh, there's several things that are quite good about it, but I'll begin with things that are good about the story. Um, one of the things that I th it's pretty amusing about Black, about black Science um, is it really kind of owes uh, well, I suppose it owes its origins, or it, I mean, it's it's a it's a it's a familiar story, and some it's it, it's a story about a family. Um, this reminds me of a lot of it's, it's in a lot of ways it's like land of, land of lost uh, for grown ups, or it's like yeah, when I was a kid, you would see um, lots of these um, things, you would see lots of discoveries of a lost world. Um, it's an exploration story. Um, but it, it, it remember, um, if I'm, I hope I'm pronouncing the name correctly, um, you know, he wisely um, keeps it focused uh, on the family dynamics, and he wisely uh, plays up the characterization. Uh, this doesn't turn um, into a story of some kind of uh, enormous uh, alien invasion uh, from another dimension that has to be fought off or something like that. Um, it really uh, stays very much focused um, on uh, the family dynamics, particularly um, the father. Uh, in this case, the father is the, the inventor, the discovery, the discoverer uh, of this uh, device that will allow travel um, between dimensions. And uh, not surprise, and I, I guess not surprisingly, but also quite aptly, um, all the problems or, or the problems that the father has, all the, all the problems that bedevil um, the father. Um, in the home dimension, our dimension, uh, the father being na named Grant here, um, all, all the problems that bedevil him follow him um, th through this. Right? This, this is a this is a familiar uh, sort of notion, right? You, you want to travel, you want to be able to escape your problems. <laughs> Inventing a device that will allow travel to other dimensions is probably uh, the most extreme version of that uh, imaginable. And all the problems, you know, as, as I said, uh, go with him. Um, so that's that's and that's quite a good choice uh, by Remender. Um, this this helps keep it. Um, yeah, it would not near, be nearly as interesting if if it really um, just devolved into or just ended up being sort of a um, fight off uh, threats from another dimension. Um, so there's a, the character the characterization um, is significant. Uh, the characterization is pretty good. Um, and, and there's there's growth, there's change, uh, there's development, uh, which is which is welcome. Um, there's there's realization, there's the kind of um, epiphanies uh, that you uh, would expect, namely Grant, namely the scientist realizing right he hasn't really come up with a way of leaving um, his problems uh, behind or solving them or doing anything about them, and if anything, uh, he's made things far uh, far worse f uh, for everyone. Um, involved. Um, I guess I would, one thing I, I guess I would have liked to have seen, and this is probably uh, asking too much, um, it would have been nice to have some more um, considerations, some kind of, some kind of the more kind of intellectual or philosophical issues um, this kind of raises. Um, one of the things I noticed with dimensional stories, you know, and then you, you, you won't be surprised that um, Right, the characters, Grant in particular, the, the, the main character, the, main, the protagonist, right? He, he, there are other versions of himself, there are other worlds uh, very similar to ours. Um, and 
Um, the suggestion seems to be, or at least Grant seems to conclude, that uh, in every world, uh, in every dimension, or he always does the wrong thing. Um, he always blows it, uh, which, which seems um, really um, counterintuitive, or, or doesn't seem I, that, that that's kind of hard, I think, to uh, to buy that that would be the case. Um, if there are all these dimensions um, that suggest that creation, the universe, the universes, there's there's a, a kind of maximalist principle that. Um, that creation, that, that broadly speaking, that all universes, all of existence, um, every possibility uh, is, is being played out, and that there would be um, a world, uh, perhaps the world about which, the, 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 the particular grant about which you're reading, uh, where he does get things right, where he does uh, do the right thing. Uh, I guess what I'm trying to say is the pessimism um, isn't really uh, warranted, the pessimism that he expresses doesn't really make sense, although I, I will concede um, it makes things uh, more dramatic. Um, you know, another kind of thing that strikes me about the, a story like this is a lot of ways, if you've ever read the old Erie magazines, the old Warren uh, magazines, uh, this very much has the feel of something that would have appeared in them, um, but done uh, a lot better, right? It, it obviously, it was a great debt um, to uh, the pulp universe uh, from which um, it is taken. You know, this is definitely a, a pulp story. It's definitely a campy um, science fiction story. Um, definitely a genre story, and, and and done very well. Right. So I think it um, it gets a lot of it gets a lot. Of, it should get high points for that. Um, yeah, it's it's a very good read. Um, it, it, very good pacing. Um, you know, the, the the action. I, I should say the the action is really quite. Um, there's some pretty imaginative things. Um, done with the action, and I should also say this is a great example of something comic books uh, can do really well. Uh, the the, the sci-fi budget, or the special effects budget for comics is obviously uh, pretty amazing, right? It's what the um, artist uh, can do for you, um, and that, that really uh, is pretty great here. Um, there's some pretty great effects, there's some pretty wild um, sort of situations that I can't, I, I would think would be like a nightmare if you were trying to do them um, in a live action film or something. Um, yeah, uh, uh, that, that's a wonderful part of it. Yeah, and, and, and with that, to say something, the art, uh, Matteo Scalera and Dean White, um, it's a lot of fun. I, I think the, the, the pencils, um, especially are a lot of fun if you, if you look up, if you get up close, right, if you really look at the details. Um, very kind of sketchy, very kind of loose. There's a very does a really good job uh, of keeping a lot of the energy um, in the book. There's, there's a very um, does a lot of, does a very good job of keeping it moving. Right, the, the art um, is really lively. It doesn't really uh, get bogged down, um, which is a really good thing. Um, color really quite great. Uh, the painted parts um, really a lot of fun as well. Um, yeah, so I, I would say uh, definitely highly recommended. Definitely worth your while. Um, it's 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 you know it's not it, it and it's certainly a departure. Um, I think from what you're usually uh, going to find in, in in the comic stores um, these days, and, and kind of a welcome departure. Right? It's it's kind of a nice change. Um, it's also uh, pretty self-contained, and I'm sure, right? You know, not surprisingly, given the premise, there's lots of room for exploration. Well, there's basically infinite room for exploration. Uh, there's an infinite number of, uh, there seems to be an infinite number of dimensions um, that can be visited. Um, so there's certainly uh, the possibility of more of these stories coming out. But this is pretty self-contained. Uh, this, uh, there's, there's a definitive ending here um, in this graphic novel. So you're getting the whole story, right? Do you not, um, there, 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 I, I, this says volume one, so I'm assuming there's more uh, to come in the series. I haven't really looked, um, but you're getting a complete story here. And as I said, really quite a good story. Um, it's a lot of fun, um, definitely a uh, genre story uh, done very well, uh, very lively. Um, art's really quite impressive. Um, yeah, definitely uh, worth your time. So pick it up when you get a chance. All right, thanks. Uh, like and subscribe if you're into that, and uh, take care. See you soon. Bye.